Hey everybody, Coach Toolshed here, and today I'm going to be bringing you some information that I just came across a little bit ago. Some stuff that came out on Monday when everyone else was kind of wrapped up in the gameplay reveal, and admittedly I was too watching all the information that I could. But a couple of quotes about a very important topic in regards to Fallout 76 that a lot of people have been talking about as we lead up to the launch and a feature that's been promised by Bethesda is something that people have been hanging their hat on for quite a while now and we got some quotes from a couple different people in regards to this situation and like I said all this stuff just kind of got shuffled into the mix yesterday and I, I haven't really seen too many people talking about it yet so let's get into this and discuss it so you might say coach what exactly are you talking about well, I'm talking about mod support and private servers. You know, it's one of the things that a lot of people like to hang their hat on saying, hey, if you don't like the game, at some point there's going to be private servers. They'll have those up. They promise they're going to have those up. And you're going to be able to mod to your heart's content. Well, we got some quotes from... I got some stuff here from Chris Meyer and Jeff Gardner, who, if you don't recognize those names, those are two guys who are on stage with Todd Howard at QuakeCon answering some questions. And so design director Chris Myers came out and said, there's a quote, we obviously love the mod community and love supporting them, but allowing the mod community to come in and mod this game, the possibility of breaking the experience, it's something we couldn't risk. So what does that mean? Does that mean there's not gonna be any mods? No, that's not really what it means. And I'll, go on, I'll get into that for a second. But what he's saying right there is basically, yeah, they're not going to let you just go on to a public server and just start adding your own mods. Now, whether or not they put in their own Creation Club mods, that's something that I'm sure we will see, whether they'll be adding skins and stuff to the game. We've already seen the Atom Currency, which will be used to buy cosmetics and whatnot. So it won't be surprising if they added some sort of that content, that sort of mod to the game. Skins and cosmetics, that won't surprise me at all if that's how they handle it. But as far as creating your own mods and bringing those into public servers, yeah, not going to happen. But let's talk a little bit further about this because we got another quote from project leader Jeff Gardner. And here he gives a bit of a time frame for when we could get these things, but it's pretty vague. What he says is, sometime in the future, and he adds, this is not me adding this, way in the future. So that's him saying that. Sometime in the future, way in the future, we are going fully we are fully going to embrace mods and then do something we're calling private worlds. We don't usually try to use the word server so much. We're trying to call them worlds, and these are going to be private worlds that folks will be able to set up and mod to their heart's content. Now what he does say here is you can't bring your characters, he says, you can't bring them back into a game like this where you could go into that world, grab all the ammo, come back into a regular game, and grief all day. So if you want to engage, if you want to create these private mods, if you want to work on these and bring a character into that world, well, they're going to be locked onto that world. They're not going to be able to get off that server. And so, I mean, that makes sense. But what I found more interesting is that he says it's going to be a long time. And now, what exactly does that time frame mean? Well, we also got another article with some Pete Hines quotes, and he talks about how, in regards to mods, he says, It's going to be a lot of work, but mods and private servers are definitely coming. But the time frame that he put on it was actually November of 2019, so a full year after launch. And he says that's the earliest possibility and odds are they're actually going to be coming after that but the earliest they're going to be coming is a full year after release so everyone who's been hanging their hat thinking that they're going to be able to access these private servers pretty soon after launch that's not the case you're going to have to be waiting a full year at least and once again this is something that i said months ago i believe i did a video back in july talking about how if you're expecting private mods, I won't expect them anytime soon. I put a timetable of at least a year on it, and that's what we're looking at here. So, looks like old coach ain't so crazy on that score either. Looks like I was a little bit right on that because I said that months ago. So, if that's something you've been waiting for, if you've been waiting on mod support, if you've been hanging your hat on private servers, just so you know, it's going to be a year at least before you even get a whiff of it. So... Buckle your seatbelts, kids. It's going to be a long ride. 
Now, before we move on, there's also something that was in one of these articles, another quote from Chris Meyer, and this time it was about crossplay support. Now, you know I talked, I think it was last week, about how Sony had reversed their decision about allowing crossplay, and they were going to start talking to these studios about it, and how Pete Hines had said that, well, he kind of backtracked and said that, oh, whoa, 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 we're not looking at crossplay support for Fallout 76, despite what we said earlier, despite what I said, despite what Todd said, yeah, he backtracked on all that. So now we have a we have a quote from Chris Meyer here, who once again is one of the project directors here for this game. And he says, this is not something we can do in the last final weeks, so this might be something that we look at in the future. It's not just flicking a switch, there's a lot of work. So what do we say there? So this might be something we look at in the future. Well, I mean, that's pretty much the same thing Pete said. They might possibly do it. Pete said it's not easy, even though, like I've said before, several much smaller developers have said that it actually is pretty easy to do. But of course, everything has to be more complicated when it comes to Bethesda. And I think in light of the gameplay reveals that we got this week and the severe lag and problems we saw in that game, and I know people are still trying to defend it, saying, oh, they're going to have it fixed in the next 13 days. Okay, we'll see. But the thing of it is, based on that footage that we've seen, I think they have much bigger fish to fry than worrying about crossplay. That's a That ain't no joke. If you look at that gameplay footage, clearly they need to try to get it running properly on one single platform before they try to get them all to work in an integrated pattern. I mean it's pretty obvious they have their work cut out for them. And that's going to bring me into my final topic for the day. And it's something that you may remember about two and a half months ago, something that Bethesda had come out and said. They put out a post on one of their community forums letting us know that they were going to be randomly selecting people to participate in a sort of pre-beta beta period and they were going to be slowly adding people to that group as we led up to the official launch of the beta b-e-t-a beta that's going to be coming of course on october 23rd to xbox first and then to the other platforms on october 30th and at the time pete sort of put a little time window on that he said it could be anywhere from five days to three weeks now he was just speculating at that time and he said it would be up to the team to decide when this period would happen but we know that we already had the media event this week and we already had their gameplay footage and so presumably any nda would be lifted by now right i mean we've already had people discussing the game and showing us gameplay videos we saw end game footage already so i mean if they're going to be letting other people access to this beta the randomly selected people and i please i hope no one is going to start arguing with me and suggest that the people they invited to the Greenbrier Resort were randomly selected people. I hope, I hope I don't get arguments like that, but I might anyway. But obviously those people were not randomly selected out of the people who had pre-ordered the game. Those are obviously hand-selected by Bethesda. Those people were not randomly selected in any way, shape, or form. So I'm wondering now, do you know anyone? Have you pre-ordered the game and have you maybe gotten an invite to this have you seen any of your friends playing this do you know anyone that's playing it i know i've seen some reddit rumors that say oh yes absolutely we're playing but i mean how much can you really read into what you see on reddit and i know i've seen at least one pretty big channel talk about how they said that they you know they know that their people are playing already and there may be people playing already and maybe they can't talk about it we don't really know but my thing is are they actually going to fulfill what they said and provide this sort of lottery ticket earning of, hey, pre-order the game and maybe we'll let you in to the beta early? Well, I'll be interested to see if anyone actually gets in there. I'd be interested to see if they don't think that maybe this Greenbrier Resort trip that they had planned is actually going to be enough to tide us over. So if you know anyone that's playing in there, if you're playing in it yourself, please let me know. But at this point, all I've seen is rumors and speculation and no actual confirmation. And certainly nothing from any of the mainstream sites that would get news like that. I have not. I've looked at several articles that just came out today talking about the beta from the mainstream sites. And none of them mentioned anything about the random selection group of people that they told us they would be having 
in October, and we would be smack in the middle of that five to three week period, five day to three week period that Pete Hines sort of outlined in one of his tweets. So we'll see what happens there. But that's all I got for you today. I'm going to let you guys go. I'm Coach Toolshed. You let me know what you think about these topics I discussed today. Uh, obviously, the PC community is going to be more invested in the modding scene. And so, PC guys, let me know what you think about this. I don't think it's any huge surprise, but the timetable that I laid out a few months back is confirmed by Bethesda themselves now with these quotes saying that, yeah, it's going to be at least a year before we get this stuff. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know about the pre-beta, beta, beta access. Has anyone that you know actually gotten access to this? Or have you just seen the same rampant speculation that I have? Let me know what you guys think. Subscribe if you want to stay in tune with the channel. And as always, keep it turned to 11.